Hello everyone. Today we are going to do something different. I love having a really good smelling room and I use these reed diffuser sticks from time to time with a store-bought oil, um, usually from Target. I know Bath and Body Works has some and so forth. So a couple of the things that you'll need. I have some of these reed diffuser sticks that um, I previously purchased from Michaels. It came with this jar right here. You use basically three ingredients to make this non-toxic essential oil diffuser. So I have here a quarter cup of hot tap water. I have um, rubbing alcohol that you can find at any pharmacy or dollar store or anything like that. And I have two essential oils that I prefer to use. Of course, you could use your own as well. So these essential oils came as part of a pack that I got on Amazon. Here's what it looks like. There's a bunch of different scents that you could use for various purposes. So today I'm using orange and frankincense because orange has um, sort of a sweet scent, but not too overpowering. Uh, it has a nice cherry, pleasant sort of smell, but it's also good to calm and relax you, uh, which I know a lot of us might need during this high stress time. Frankincense is generally used for concentration and memory, so I'm also going to add a couple of drops of this into my essential oil mixture as well. Uh, but feel free to experiment with the scents that you like. I'm just using these because I'm someone who leans more towards the bright, citrusy, um, energizing sort of scents. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is add my hot tap water. Again, I have about a quarter cup here. And you'll definitely want to put this in some sort of measuring cup or something with a spout. And then we're going to take an equal part um, rubbing alcohol. So you'll also want a quarter cup of this. Now the reason we put the rubbing alcohol is so that the oils bind to the water. Um, usually with a lot of essential oils, they start with a base oil, like almond oil or coconut oil. But here, because I didn't have those products, I decided to use rubbing alcohol and water. So we're just going to pour this bad boy in there. And I'm just going to give this a little stir. All right, now finally, I'm going to add my essential oils, my orange and my frankincense. I'm going to add about 15 to 20 drops of this. Now I'm going to add my frankincense, and because this is sort of a secondary oil that I'm putting in there, I'm going to probably put five drops. It has sort of like a nice woody, spicy scent to it. It just smells absolutely amazing already. Um, it has sort of an orange scent that's very bright and cheerful um, and also very fresh. So it's good to put in smaller rooms like your bathrooms. Um, if you're using it in your bedroom, you'll want to use a little bit more essential oil. So I'm going to add all of my reed diffuser sticks in here. And the trick is to let it diffuse for maybe about an hour. And then later on, you'll want to take them out and turn them upside down. Here you have it. This is how to make your own non-toxic, homemade, um, essential oil reed diffuser oil thing. Thank you.